Pixel is an Excel add-in that allows you to call Python functions from Excel. This short introduction will show you how to get started and demonstrate some features of Pixel. To install Pixel, first download the package from the website and extract it. You will need to have Python installed as well. Inside the package is the XLL file, which is the add-in itself, a config file, and some examples. All versions of Excel from 2003 are supported, but I'm using the 64-bit version of Excel 2013 and Python 2.7. Pixel is added from the add-ins menu, exactly the same way as any other Excel add-in. Now that's installed, you can see there's a new menu in the add-in section. More custom menus can be added with Pixel, which I'll demonstrate later. Once everything's set up, you can start writing some Python code and call it from Excel. The Python code we're going to write is no different from any other Python code, as Pixel uses any standard Python installation. I'm using nThought's Canopy for this, but any other text editor will work. First of all, I'm going to create a new Python module called intro.py. In here, I'm going to create a simple Python function, which we'll call from an Excel formula. To make this function visible to Excel, all we need to do is use the pixel Excel func decorator and add a string that lets Excel know how to call this function. We can try out the function in Canopy's interactive prompt to check the function behaves as we expect. Now all we need to do is to add this module to the config file. In Excel, we can tell the pixel add-in to reload the Python code without restarting Excel. The new function is now visible in Excel's function wizard. If we want to make any changes or to add any new functions, we can go back to the editor and do that and then reload again. If you add a doc string to a Python function, it will be visible in Excel as the function's help text. I'll make a change to the first function as well so we can see that working. We can see that the function we've modified has changed in Excel and the new function is now available. The doc string of the new function is visible as the function's help text in the function wizard and the function arguments have descriptions. As well as exposing Python functions as worksheet functions, Pixel can also expose functions as menus using the Excel menu decorator. I'm also going to use the XLC alert function here.
This time when we reload, the new menu item will be added. Selecting that menu item will run the Python code and pop up a dialog box. That's it for this short introduction. Pixel comes with a large number of examples that demonstrate some of the features of Pixel not covered in this video. These include more advanced user-defined functions and array functions, custom types, macros and automation, and asynchronous functions. For more information, visit the website www.nthought.com slash product slash pixel and get in touch if you have any questions.